1919, President Woodrow Wilson established November 11th as a day to be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service. On behalf of the board, faculty, and staff of Santa Fe Community College, I would like to thank all of those who have served our country in the armed services. The sacrifices that you have endured to keep all Americans safe inspire us to respond with courage when we are challenged by extraordinary circumstances. I am proud to work with veterans from our faculty and staff as we strive to assist our student veterans as they attain a college education. I would also like to recognize Crystal Patton, who runs the Veterans Resource Center at Santa Fe Community College. I know that many of us feel challenged by COVID-19 and the sacrifices that we are called upon to make for the safety of other people. But when I think of the challenge of leaving one's family to deploy for weeks or months at a time to serve our country, and the challenges for families who must consistently deal with the absence of spouse or parents as they deploy, then I admit that our sacrifices here seem pretty small. Thank you to all of our veterans for your sacrifice and for your service to our country. It's a privilege to work with all of you. Hello, Santa Fe Community College and members of the community my name is Crystal Patton, Veterans Resource Center Coordinator here at Santa Fe Community College. Today we pause to honor the men and women who have raised their right hand, swore an oath, and written a blank check to the United States of America for up to and including one's life, to make the commitment to sacrifice everything if need be. This willingness to serve must be honored. So on this Veterans Day and every day, I thank you for your service. Hi, I'm Dr. Tomasina ortiz Gallegos, Associate Vice President for Student Success and a proud military wife of a U.S. Army veteran. I'd like to take a moment today to thank you, our servicemen and women, from yesterday and today for all of your sacrifices in fighting for our values and our freedom. I'd also like to express gratitude to your family for the sacrifices that they have made while you've been protecting our nation. There's not enough thank yous in the world to share how appreciative we are for all that you do for us. Thank you. Today, we honor, recognize, and celebrate those who have risked so much for our freedom. There are so many who have sacrificed so much to keep our beloved country safe and protected. Now whether your parent, grandparent, uncle, aunt, significant other, or even friend has sacrificed for our country, please know that the American people owe them a great debt of gratitude, acknowledgement, and respect. Now here at Santa Fe Community College, we honor our rich, diverse student population filled with our first generation students, our traditional students, our non-traditional students, our students enrolled in multiple college programs, and our veteran students. You all are doing such great work during such an unnatural time, something that generations before haven't experienced. Now the support we offer to one another can make all of the difference, just as the support our vets gave to one another while fighting for our country. Now on this day, military families are in my heart, as my grandfather, Alex Martinez, served in the army and my grandfather, Roger Charles Widrick, served in the Korean War. Patriots from all parts of the country have fought to keep us safe. We must do everything we can to honor our heroes and make sure they get the recognition they deserve. Now, when you attend SFCC, not only are you a part of a thriving community, you're part of a wonderful family that's here to support its students through thick and thin. That's what we must do for our heroes. From the bottom of my heart, I thank the many men and women that have fought and served for our country. Thank you and happy Veterans Day.
My name is Larry Ortiz and I am a native of Santa Fe, New Mexico and I am a United States Marine Corps veteran. I enlisted in 1967 and served in Vietnam during the Vietnam War from November 1967 to November 1968 and was wounded a couple of times during that almost 13 months I was in Vietnam. I had the honor to serve with many young brave men and lost many friends and many who were seriously wounded. I want to make two points about the Vietnam War. I've heard many times in the media, and I think it's being taught now in our schools, that is, if it's even being taught in our schools at all, that the Vietnam War was the only war the United States lost. I want to correct that inaccuracy. Vietnam was not a military defeat, as U.S. forces were never defeated in the field. The country did not have the will to continue an apparent never-ending war and turn to a political solution and that Vietnam can be considered a defeat in any sense of the word. It was a political defeat and certainly not a military defeat. I stay in touch with many veterans from the Vietnam War and in spite of how shamefully we were all treated when we returned by our countrymen, without exception, we are all proud to have served in the United States military and to have served our country with pride. I would also like you, any of you who may see this video, to reflect back on our proud history. American men and women fought and won our independence from a tyrannical country early in our history. Unfortunately, Americans have had to fight to keep our freedom in many wars since we became an independent country. I'd also like you to remember that if it wasn't for our American military men and women who answered our country's call to serve, we could now be speaking Japanese, German, or even Russian. We all need to remember that and show appreciation to our veterans and all those men and women who are now in active duty military service. Never forget the debt owed to our veterans who have served and secured our freedoms and be thankful that you live in this great country. Thank you.